Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I have been going around building up all of the walls to two levels high on our roads because it was simply needed. Uh, the trucks kept going flying over, so I'm hoping that two high walls will do the trick everywhere. I also built a little viewing platform up here so that we can stand up here and have a nice view of all of the trucks going around and see our base in action. But today we are actually going to go and work on our iron rod setup. So let's get over there and do that. It's a bit of a run so I'll just run over there and then I'll be right back with you. Alright, so we are over here and as you can see I have set up a ton of constructors. We need 30 constructors to fill one belt of iron rods and it also takes 30 constructors to with the... Uh, what am I trying to say here? We can also supply uh, 30 constructors on one full belt, that's what I wanted to say. So we need to hook all these up and start getting our production going on iron rods. Which also means that we will need to increase our production of uh, iron ingots significantly. So that's going to be fun. So we need belts, put those on 7 and 8, then we need belts... Uh, regular belts and fast belts and we need probably some regular conveyor poles as well so let's put that on five and we are going to need lifts as well actually i don't know if we need let's just put lifts on zero ten all right so we need splitters first and they are going to be going that way. And there we go. And we'll set those up the whole way. Come on. There. And we'll have the ore coming in down here. And running all the way down. Coming about. And... Going into the next line. So, yeah. This is pretty standard stuff. So, I think I am going to just get all of this set up and uh, then I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we have all of the input hooked up everywhere going down here oops didn't want to jump down but never mind just run down here and we have this one offset a little bit and that's okay because we have our conveyor lift here going into there it splits off here and comes over and into that one it clips a little bit but i can live with it and we won't have this here anyway so this will be uh, taken out and we'll put a wall here so that there's no reason to so that the belt is blocking our path kind of so all we need now is our outputs and some power and then we are ready to start producing so let me just get those in and i'll be back right so we have set up all of the outputs as well which is fantastic and if I can jump properly, we can see that we have all of the outputs hooked up. I can't jump properly. Apparently. Come on. We have all of the outputs hooked up here as well. And, again, if I can jump properly. Down here I've made a little change. I lifted this uh, belt going across over and going in there so that the outputs can hook up here and we have a, a conveyor lift going up uh, to the top here 
Also, I have changed our walls out here a bit because the small windows just didn't give much of a view. This is much nicer and we are still protected from falling out, provided we don't jump improperly. So, yeah. I also close. Oh, I thought I closed this. I thought I closed closed this, but I didn't. Uh, but we will eventually, because I think we need to make uh, we need to make a floor below as well. Because I don't think 450 iron rods is going to be enough for uh, a big, big place. Oops. Let's get out of here. It's a little bit hard to get out, but it's fine. We won't be coming in here that much anyway, so. But basically what's left now is to, oh, I also set up uh, guardrails here so that we don't fall out here and we can stand and enjoy the view of the splendid planet that we're on. And we have the input there and we have the output over here. And somewhere, I thought we had our floor, but we don't. Okay, never mind. So yeah, that's done. Basically all we need to do is hook this power pole up to the power lines uh, or to the power network and we should be in business. So let's just do that real quick. I'll place a power pole down here as well. So. And then we'll run the power out this way. Lagginess there. And see, wire it too long, wire it too long, there. And we can just hook it up to this over here, I think. Somewhere. So let's do that. Oh, wire it too long, wire it too long, wire it too long, wire not too long. Alright. Let's put it there. Stick it up here on this hill. There. And then we just need to find a power pole that we can hook it up to. Where can we hook it up? Where can we hook it up? Maybe in there. It's got four four. Alright. No biggie. Stick a power pole up there on the rock. And hook it over to that. Or it's too long. So not quite yet to hook it up to that. Or it's too steep. Let's try this. This works. And there. All of the machines down there should now be powered up. Let's go take a quick peek and see that my hypothesis is true. So yeah. So this actually went uh, pretty fast to set up. It didn't take that long. So we might have time to do just a little bit more. And I think we do. But first, I want to check that this actually is set up. And powered up. So let's see, do we have green? Yes, we do. Up there. I think I forgot a couple of... Most of them are green. Did I forget to hook these guys up? Yes, I did. No. Why? Okay, so you are getting power over there. That's fine. You up. Why? On this side, it's green. Right? On this side, it's red. So, something is wrong. This power is going over here. And then it's connecting to... Whoa. That power pole. Which does have power. So, why are those blinking red? I have no idea. Alright, we'll figure it out. And 
Does this prior bubble? Yeah, it has plenty of power. And they are hooked up. What the crap is going on? Alright, we'll figure that out later. Or will we? Or will we figure it out now? I think we'll figure it out now because this is bugging me. Oops. That is connecting over to that power pole, and that power pole has power. You have power. If I just stick a power pole down here and not hook it up to anything, and it's not showing any power. So, yeah. So, why are those guys not green? Must be a glitch. Let's uh, assume that it's a glitch for now. Ah, come on. Come on, get up. And get up. So we're going to assume that it's a glitch. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, that's done. Now, I had actually had a dream last night where... I thought that I could figure a better way to do the roads, but we just did the roads, right? But I did have a dream. I actually dreamt it in my deep, deep sleep that I know how to make these roads much, much, much better. So we're going to do that at some point, but not right now. Uh, because I just did the roads and I don't want to fiddle with roads right now. So I am thinking that if we can find our explorer over here, that we could go and do a bit of exploration in a direction that we haven't uh, been in before and see what's there. See if we can find a wreck or maybe two and hopefully get some good stuff with us home. But before I do that, I need to make sure that I have weapons and stuff equipped because I am not delete those I am not going out into the wilds without a weapon in my hand so let's see I guess over this way would be a good way to go and take a look we haven't really seen much there we haven't seen all of this stuff either I think we're gonna go that way. So how are we gonna do that? We are going to come up here. And hopefully not hit the truck and push it out over the edge or something stupid like stupid like that. That would be really annoying. We do have all the trucks running now, so that's pretty nice. Uh, all the trucks that are needed anyway, except for the iron rod trucks, of course. Because I don't want to set up iron rod trucks right now, especially since I think in between this episode and the next, I am going to change the roads in the way that I mentioned. So that hopefully everything works a lot better than it has done. And it also got, gets a lot cleaner to look at, I think. So I think that it's going to be really good. Oh, so, what was that? Right, so let's go see what we can see. I think, whoa, whoa, don't go down there. Uh, we already seen that. So let's, there's poison in the air. Let's go this way take a look we know what's over here we have the sulfur over there which we also need to get investigated or going at some point that's just a dead end it looks like let's go this way and have a look anything interesting over here whoa 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 whoa, whoa. not darn it I'm dead 
<laughs> Alright, that was a very successful exploration trip. Jesus. Darn it. Alright, we're going to need some of our... Uh, nuts. We're going to have to go and grab all our stuff, because I'm not leaving that behind. We don't actually have a weapon. What do we need to make us just a Sino Sapper? We want to do that. I guess we do. Uh, those, we need those, we need those, and we need some wire. I hope I have some wire somewhere. Two. I think that was it. Yep. Alright, so we have a Sino Sapper. Let's put that in hand as well. And we're gonna need to heal up. And I'll uh, run over there, and uh, then I'll see you when I get there. So we're over here at our crate and our explorer. They're both down there. And we can't get down there without taking poison damage, that's for sure. And I don't think we can heal fast enough to survive poison damage. So I think we're going to have to go back and see if we can get a... Uh, What's it called? A gas mask going. So I'm gonna do, go do that, and then I'll be back when I have researched that, and uh, researched the milestone, and crafted a gas mask, and some filters and stuff, and I'm back over here. So give me a few guys. Okay, so uh, I ran back and checked how much it would cost to research the, the gas mask milestone, and it's just way too uh, costly to do that right now. I would have to handcraft a crap ton of stuff and I simply don't have time to do that. And the thing is, if you log out and log in again, then your crate will be gone. So we're going to give it a shot and see if we can get down there and pick up our stuff and get out of there without dying. And that's going to be not easy let's just say that so i'm giving this i'm going to give it a shot and if i get it great if i don't get it then i'm going to have to accept that i have lost this stuff which i'm not very happy about accepting to be quite honest but uh, we're going to give it a shot a go so let's go and it's far 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 down uh, where, where the hell is the crate? And I want to get this in hand. And then I want to get out of here. Do I have the blade runners? Yes, I do. So let's just run. The rest I can live with uh, losing, to be honest. my thing here, my Sino Basher, I killed those guys, I have the green power slug, I have the computers, I have the heavy modular frames, I have everything, so yeah, I'm good with this, I'm good with this, uh, and Sure, we lost the explorer, but it'll just stay there, right? Uh, it's not going anywhere, and we can just build a new one. So, yeah. We lost the explorer. It is what it is. But let's take a quick look around here before we call it an episode and see if we can't at least find one thing that's interesting and that doesn't kill us uh, before the episode ends. Maybe a nice little wreck or something would be very welcome. Oh, there's a power slug over there. If I can find it again. Got a bit turned around there because of a little lag spike. Where was it? I lost it. There's uh, poison minis all over the place here. 
which we don't want to play with. And let's have a look here. Oh, that's a long way down. More poison minis. Man, there's poison guys all, all over the place here. Can we jump down here without dying? I don't know. We're gonna give it a shot. Yeah, without dying, dying, yes. Whoa! That was a slug that we could die. Whoa, and a huge fucking spider! Jesus! Die, you big bad! Jesus, that spider scared the crap out of me. Dead. Get the thing, yeah. And let's grab the power slug. So at least our little exploration expedition wasn't a complete loss. Uh, do we have any? We have some, right? Yeah. Let's use those. This cost a lot of... and I don't want this in hand. That's just basically waste now, trash now. But it's... I'm gonna put it back in... Ooh, bacon. Bacon is a... Uh, is not a total loss either. Go for some bacon. Oh, we could just gather some eggs from the birds that are around here and maybe have some eggs and bacon, that would be great. As long as you have eggs, eggs and bacon, maybe life isn't all bad. Alright? Alright. Okay. So... No Rex, but... A lot of bacon. And... A lot of bacon. Wow. Look at all this bacon. This is absolutely delicious. Look at this. Yay! Bacon for days! Now, I am fortunate enough that my girlfriend absolutely loves cooking for me, and she loves cooking breakfast for me. I actually have eggs and bacon quite regularly for breakfast, which is really awesome. Thanks, babe. I love it. Okay, let's see, there's more bacon down there. But I think we're going to uh, call it for this episode, guys. We'll end it here. And I think in the next one we will continue our exploration a little bit and see if we can't find some... some wrecks and stuff because I really want some uh, hard drives to research uh, let's just have a quick look at where we are we are actually pretty close to home we haven't explored a whole hell of a lot uh, but we found a lot of new stuff and a lot of poison which wasn't great but it is what it is so thanks very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and maybe subscribe and I'll see you next time